I collect them all. <laughs> I thought I would do my fan flare pen collection today because I'm now a proud brand ambassador for fan flare. Not that that matters, but I thought that we would do a pen collection of fan flare anyway, just because I have so many pins and I just want to show them off because they are beautiful. So I'm gonna grab my board real quick. We're gonna dive into this and we're gonna see all the cuteness that is. Fan flare. Okay. So I keep all of my fan flare pins um, on this little cork board that I got at Target, I believe, a while back. I think it's really cute. It has these really cute, <laughs> colorful pieces in it, and I really love. And I'm probably gonna need a bigger one soon because my collection is growing so rapidly. So I'm just gonna show you my fan flare collection. If you guys don't know what fan flare is, it's a fandom inspired pin shop, pin store. Um, that Sarah Sterling runs, my babe herself, the cutie patootie Disney pretentious fan that she is. Um, she has her own pin shop and it's really cute and adorable and my favorite thing ever. And yeah, that's basically what it is. These aren't in order or anything. I don't remember when I got each one, but so it's not going to be in order of when I got, but this is just the ones I'm pulling off the board first. So this one is the Sarah Sterling snitch Sarah Sterling pin. She has a collection called Pin Pals and this is hers. This is Sarah, her cutie baby creator herself. This is Sarah. She's my fave. She's so cute in her little yellow. Then we have a spew pin from Harry Potter with Dobby on it. It's really cute and I love and it V cute. V V cute. Next up I have <laughs> some Thingma Vlog pins from when Thingma Vlogs was a thing. R.I.P. R.I.P. But um, these are when they did their movie screenings in like downtown Disney and um, yeah. So yeah. So we have the Moana screening, the Beauty and the Beast screening, the, I think these two are both Beauty and the Beast screening ones from. Um, Anaheim and one's from Disney in Orlando. Yeah, so we have the Moana one. Then we have one of the Beauty and Beast screenings. Obviously, if you guys didn't watch the my vlogs, these aren't going to be very relevant to you or you're not going to know what it is. But <laughs> I have to show them because they are fan flare. And they are cute. Like, this is really cute. Like, the design on them, these are really cute. And the T is obviously for Thingma Vlogs. And then we have the official Thingma Vlogs, um, like, pin. That's just like, I'm a member of Thingma Vlogs. I'm a stan. Like, that kind of pin. So we have that, too. Next, I have my three, like, cameo sets. My three cameo silhouettes. So first, I have my <laughs> four pops of... Four Puffs of the Fair Faucet Spray um, Steve pin. And it's really cute because it's glittery. And I really love this pin like a lot more than I should. Like it's so, so great. I love it. It's so cute. And the little pink, it's just, mm, it's just so good. Then we have um, the Beanie Love and Baby um, uh, Jughead Jones Serpent King Buddy Boy. Who are you? I'm weird. I'm a weirdo pin, and I love Jughead Jones, I love Cole Sprouse, and this is adorable, and it is so cute, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I just love, because Jughead Jones is bae. Then we have, last in our cameo set, is the Xenon Supernova Girl pin, which is also the cutest. That's super cute, with her pink and her blue scrunchies and her hollow disc and it's just the best and would go great with my xenon disney bound so yeah then i have this harry potter um rainbow i am always i am with you um phoenix rising pin it's really cute and it's great and we love next up we have mickey and the magical map pin which i haven't seen but i think it's such a cute pin <laughs> that I had to have. I don't think this is available anymore, but it's super cute and I love, so when I do eventually see it, I will have the pin. 
Next, I have the Hocus Pocus like spell book pin. It's really cute. I love the little eye. It's perfect. It's just wonderful. Everything you would ever need in a Hocus Pocus pin and um great. Next up, we have a Hamilton inspired pin and it's so really it's like the best because it makes so much sense, but it says it, it says hello. My name is Alexander Hamilton and that is literally perfect. <laughs> it is so perfect and I love it because it's just, mm, we just, we love, we love, we love, we love this pin. I have this Alice in Wonderland drink me potion bottle thingy and I love this one. It is so adorable. I can't. I just think this is so like kitschy and like so Alice in Wonderland and it's so cute. I love it so much. It's so cute. Then of course we have the iconic Powerline pin. Um, I think if you've seen Fan Flare, if you know a Fan Flare, you have this pin because everyone has this pin if they have Fan Flare because this is the pin that's everything. <laughs> because Powerline, I mean, hello, you need it. Everyone needs this pin. Next up is one of my favorite, 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 favorite fan flare pins. And this, that is the original, um, Llama Potion pin. They have the normal potion pin now, but it's not sparkly. The first run just happened to be sparkly, and I got one when they had it out. And it's so beautiful. It's so amazing. I love this pin so incredibly much. Ugh. Llama Potion pin. Ugh. Mmm, gets me good. Next, I have a teeny weeny tiny pin from Peter Pan Inspired. So it has like um, the acorn, the thimble, and like flute. It's not a flute. I think it might be called a pan. I don't, I don't, I don't know what that thing is called. <laughs> but you understand what I'm trying to say. And we love Peter Pan in this house, so we needed it. It's just so small and tiny. It's so cute. This next pen you've probably seen before, too. It's the Leaning, Leaning Shower of Cheese pen. And hello. <laughs> I love this so much. It is perfect. This is one of the best scenes in that movie. I love, I love, I love. It's just so good. Then we have the pin of Tiff's tattoo. That was during a live stream. If you, like, donated a certain amount or, like, you could buy this pin for a donation or whatever. But it's a tattoo. It's the pin of her tattoo. <laughs> and it's really cool and we love so I have that one right in the center because I feel like it's just like the heart of everything, you know? Right in the center of my pin board. Next up, we have a Moana pin. And it's just the um, heart of Tafiti. And it's really cool. And it's really simple and beautiful and great. And we love. And it's really cute. So that's that. That's that, everyone. Then, of course, we have the Enchanted Rose pin. It's just pretty simple. And the little glass cloche and sparkles in the rose it's all i am alive i am the enchanted rose <laughs> that's exactly what it says <laughs> next up we have luna lovegood's um little glasses that are super adorable look how cute perfect for any luna lovegood cosplay or bound or just going to diagon alley and you're just like hey i'm i i need to support you know next we have a halloween inspired pin sort of um but it's from the nightmare before christmas and it's this one of like the little mountain that jack and sally stand on they're normally right there and they love the moon in the background it looks super cool and the bats and the, just the pumpkins are so evil even though everyone knows Jack is not really evil. Next up, I have another Alice in Wonderland inspired pin, and this is just a little mushroom. And I love, I love the purple underneath the mushroom cap. I think it's really pretty. And the polka dots are really cute on this. It's just <sighs> very magical and mystical and, hmm, just, it's just good, just good. Then we have another Alice in Wonderland pin. I like the Alice in Wonderland pins. They're really cute. But this is just Paint the Roses Red pin. Um, so obviously it was white and they're painting it red. And I think this is a really cute little accent. This is, would be a cute pin. Not very blatantly Disney. <laughs> it would just be a cute pin in general. So, hey. Hey, 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 hey. We have another Hamilton inspired pin. And this one's really cute. I really like this one. But it says, work. Angelica, Eliza, and Peggy. 
Gaia sisters. So obviously Angelica lies on Peggy fingers and they're going snap <laughs> and the colors are perfect and then it says work on it and it's just really good. We like we like that one a lot. We have a Little Mermaid inspired pin and that is the Snarf Blatt which is obviously a bubble blower fun phenomenal phenomenal fantastical um thing object that Ariel finds underneath the sea and it's just really cute. We all know it's just a pipe, but it's a snarf flat. It's a freaking snarf flat. Then I have two more of the um, pen pals. Um, <laughs> funny story, I did have Leo. I still have Leo somewhere, but um, I couldn't find the one I got for Aiden, so I sent her mine and then I still can't find mine. So mine's missing or just lost forever. But I'm saying that I have the Leo one because I bought the Leo one, but I don't know where it is because I sent mine to Aiden. So technically Aiden's is mine now and I don't know where it is. So I don't have Leo, but I do have Leo. So we have Leo, but we don't have Leo. <laughs> but we have a official Ariel pin, um, which is Richard. We have Ariel on this side and then Richard on that side and he's really cool and he does really cool makeup and cosplay. And then we have a Francis pin, a Franny pin, Francis Dominic and it's really cute, very festival inspired. I like his little flower crown and his t-shirt and it's just typical Franny. <laughs> then I have a little teeny guy, a little tiny pin from inspired by Lion King. It's just like the grubs and stuff that Timon and Pumbaa like to eat. They're really tiny and cute. Good for a like Animal Kingdom bound, I feel like, because bugs and leaf. Like I feel like that would be really cute if you're just going for Animal Kingdom and you're like not inspired by anything, but like Animal Kingdom, like you know. Then we have the crazy ex-girlfriend inspired pin with the song that she sings, and it's I have friends. I definitely have friends. I have friends, yes, I definitely have friends. I have friends, yes, I definitely have friends, but it's in a cute little like balloon heart and it's I like it. It's accurate to my life, so I had to have. I had to have. And then last but not least we have a Stranger Things inspired pin and it's it was a I think she brought this around Christmas. So it's Christmas lights. Christmas love light bulbs. Like a string of Christmas lights that say run on it. And I love because it's like Anonymous, anonymously scary, but also festive at the same time. So I don't know what to think of this pin, but I think it's really cool. So that is all of my fan flare inspired pins. As you can see, I have them, and not inspired, these are all fan flare. Um, I have them all on this little board, and they're super cute. So that's my fan flare pin board. Please tell me which fan flare pin is your favorite, which ones you're dying to have. Quick side note, since I am a brand ambassador now, brand ambassador now, I have a promo code if you guys want to use it. 15% off your entire purchase at fanflare.com. Feel free to use it. It's just my name, Brittany. So use it, love it, get some pins, tell me, show me your pin collection. I I would love to see. Yeah, so that's my fanflare pins. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Tell me which pin I need next if you guys know the inventory. And I'll see you guys next week. Snap, clap, clap, bye. Snap, clap, bye. Thanks for stopping.